Okay, so how to create a custom layout? Um, first, you have to enter in the editor. So right here on the left side, you have the three options uh, I have so far. So two sliders, horizontal and vertical, and a button. So I'm gonna press this uh, vertical layout, uh, vertical slider, sorry, and put it right here. Here I have the a button to to edit so I can scale it up and down and move the slider I also have this this little panel over here I can change the the rest position of the slider uh, which is uh, right here uh, if you look the slider um, the handle is set on the on the bottom on the minimum value position so when I move the slider up uh, and release it uh, it's gonna return to this minimum value so I can change it right here to be on the center for example and now it's centered and whenever I move up or down um, it's gonna return this slider to the center whenever I release it. So I can also set it to to free, so I can move it freely and it's not gonna return to any position when I release it. I can also move this this box right here, uh, minimize it, and here I can delete this the component that it's it's being added. So now I, I'm gonna create another slider right here and I'm gonna set it to the center position also and put it over here so I can also put uh, some buttons I'm gonna put two buttons over here and the options I have um, the to edit is the scale up and down and I can also change the color I have some some colors I can change and I can put a a single char character to be the, the text so I'm gonna put a a for example just to show you and it's gonna be on the on the button so that's it uh, here I have this three buttons uh, the first one is to clear the the entire layout so when I click this it's gonna delete all the components I have and you can create a, a new layout from scratch uh, the save button which is very important uh, if you don't save uh, your work you're go you are going to lose it when you when you exit so the exit button uh, return to the, the main menu so I will enter again in the editor so it loads the last layout I have I saved and if I click right here just to show um, it's gonna delete all the components so I have a brand new layout with nothing uh, I'm not gonna save it I'm gonna press exit so if I return it as I didn't save it, uh, it's the same layout I I saved a few minutes ago. So here I, I'm gonna put the IP, which you will see in the receiver, and I'm gonna uh, click right here to play with the, the custom layout. So it's connected. If you look to the on screen you can see that the, the values are getting changed so I'm going to open a game and show this app work okay so I'm I'm playing Euro Truck Simulator so here I have the the gas and brake, so 
can move forward and break it and move backwards uh, right here I set it to be the turn left and right view and right here the the lights the indicator of turn so that's it I'm gonna just play for a while just to show it uh, it working uh, I'm gonna show you just um, the last thing uh, which is right here if you if you hold your your finger under the the angle angle text uh, it's gonna open this uh, box right here you can set the the angle the maximum angle of the steering wheel so I want it to be like um, let's say 880 degrees so now if I if I turn it uh, 90, uh, 90 degrees to the left it's gonna be on the on the maximum value so 180 degrees uh, it's it's gonna be the 90 degrees for for each side and here I uh, am shaking uh, option which I don't recommend you to use it only if you really need it and the the last thing now um, it's the default layout um, if you don't want to create a custom layout you can use this this custom layout I have um, has the buttons sliders and one uh, other feature that you you don't have access in the editor uh, which is the H shifter so you can can use it right here um, it's not on the editor yet so maybe in the the next weeks I'm gonna add it uh, but for now uh, you only have the buttons and sliders so this works the same way uh, just right here uh, it's not configured so I won't play with it but um, if you want to, to give it a try uh, it's really nice so same options right here and button to return to the to the main menu so that's it uh, I'm gonna add a few more videos on the channel on how to to install the the app and the to configure so if you have any questions you can write on on the comments or even uh, get in contact with me uh, the contact will be on the description so that's it